Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install MariaDB on uh, Casa OS. So this gives it to where you can have one centralized location for your data, and you can have Casa OS apps, and then connected to the MariaDB. So a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, going over the installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So I'm going to start out on the Big Bear Video Assets, a repo. It will be down in the description so you can get to it. I'm going to go to how to install MariaDB on Cost OS right here. And then I've created a readme too. And I'm going to create a Docker Compose right here. I'm going to go into the Docker Compose, I mean. Um, so a ver version of the Docker Compose specification is 3. And then I'm going to define services down here. I'm going to find the, uh, define the first service, MariaDB. And then do Docker image is coming from Docker Hub and the latest tag. The environment variables, uh, ch uh, change the passwords right here. And if you want to change the default da database that's created. And then the MySQL user, uh, you can change that as well. So on ports, I'm going to map the host port 3306 to 3306 on the container port. So, and then on the volumes, I'm going to do data, MariaDB, and then var lib MySQL. So in the container will be var lib MySQL, and then on the host will be data MariaDB. Make, uh, you can change the host side, but you cannot change the container side. So I'm going to go up here and copy it, and then I'm going to go over to my Casa OS uh, to install it. So now once that's copied, I'm going to go over to my Casa OS on my Zoom board and I'm going to go to App Store. Then I'm going to go up here, Custom Install. Then I'm going to Import right here. And I'm going to paste in my Docker Compose that I explained in the last. And then I'm going to Submit. It's going to populate the fields. And now I'm going to name the the Casa OS app, uh, MariaDB. And then now I'm going to go over to my GitHub and I'm gonna go backwards. Then I'm gonna uh, copy this MySQL icon right here. And a MariaDB icon. And then I'm going to um, make sure this is all correct. I'm gonna put a Container host name in is MariaDB. And then since there's no UI port, we're not going to set 3306 because that's got no UI listing on it. So now I'm going to install. You can continue in background right here as well. So now it's installed, it's up and running. So you can go in here, you can open it. If it had a UI, it does not. And now tips, you can add tips if you'd like to, to it. Uh, the settings to where you can change the settings. You can go over here, you can uh, save the terminal and logs up here. You can export the comp Docker Compose file. And then if you change any settings, you have to press the save button down here. And then now you can check for updates on the Docker container. You can uninstall right here. You can restart. You can power off and on. So that's how to get MariaDB installed on Casa OS. So now uh, we're going to test it next. So I'm going to test MariaDB real quick. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go on my repo and I'm going to uh, copy this command right here. I'm going to go back over my terminal. I'm going to change the Casa OS IP address to my Casa OS IP address. And then now I'm going to put my IP address. Okay, now if you did change your username, you would change it right here. It would not be Big Bear. And then I'm going to put in my password that I put in. 
the uh, the cost OS I'm DB so now I'm logged in now so now you can go ahead and show databases Oops, misspelled it. Uh, other databases. Okay, the cost OS is right there. So now I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the cost OS. Okay, the database has changed. So now I'm gonna show the tables in the cost OS, and there's nothing in here. So that lets you know the Marine DB is working. So I'm gonna exit it. So that's how to get Marine DB working on Cost OS. So I just walked you through step by step on getting MariaDB working on COS OS. This makes it to where you can have your data in that location uh, uh, from your other COS OS apps. So I showed you how to connect to it, everything like that. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down the Big Bear community and join our Discord and stay tuned for more.